G'day guys, welcome back to Shanky Garage. So in this episode, something a little bit different from the regular build videos on the one tonner. Gonna go drag racing, heading out to Willow Bank Raceway for the Kenda 660 radial series. Just one thing to note, I'm no expert on drag racing. I am still trying to learn the sport, so apologies if my lingo or terminology is not 100%. But yeah, we'll jump straight into the video and hope you enjoy. Okay, something a little bit different on the channel, but got the opportunity to help out in the pit crew here with Steve Bazina and his XW Falcon, which you can see here now. So I'll talk a little bit about the car. So the engine is a ProLine Racing Stage 2 481X, and it's 540 cubic inch with twin 88 millimeter turbos and it is roughly 4,000 horsepower, so pretty serious horsepower there. The transmission is a two-speed TH400. The rear end is a single monoleaf spring with custom cow tracks. The rear shocks are Pro Shock 4-way by Skinner. The ECU is FT600. So serious bit of kit here and it'll be interesting to see how she runs being such a heavy car and on the leaf springs. Fucking sticky. <laughs> Come on, you stand still. <laughs> Stickier again. Okay, solid first run at 4.55 at 170 miles per hour. And that is on the eighth mile. So on the quarter mile, this would well and truly be a six second car which is pretty damn impressive for such a heavy car and also running them leaf springs. Okay, so it's day two, so it's race day. So we just done testing yesterday and we've just been getting the car ready, doing a bit of prep work. There was a few repairs that we had to do. Had a crack on the intake manifold here. 
So you just have to pull all the fuel lines and stuff off here, the fuel rail, and then yeah, ticket weld up that crack on the intake. So that's all good. So yeah, she's all pretty much prepped, ready to go. Got the tow car at the back here. So I've got my FPV, she's gonna be the tow car. Got the numbers on here. I won't be racing this thing. It definitely is not gonna keep up. She's just a tow car. So yeah, she's all pretty much ready to go for four o'clock. So racing starts at four. Bit of cloud cover, the rain's holding off, but should be good conditions for racing. Okay, so this is day three of racing. So yesterday we had qualifying, today is the finals day. So I ended up qualifying third. I think we got a 4.58 on the last run. So we had some unsuccessful runs throughout the day. Uh, just kept spinning the tire, but the last run was yeah 4.58. So that was enough to qualify in third. So yeah, once again, just getting the car prepped up, ready for four o'clock. And we've got similar conditions as yesterday. So yeah, it's uh, nice and cool now. So it should be ideal conditions for finals tonight. So I just wanted to talk about what's involved behind the scenes in between runs. So obviously one of them jobs is packing the chutes, which you can see that they're doing here right now. Another job is to hook up the trans cooler. So these are just some quick release fittings that hook to the back of the car, just to cool the transmission oil. So. There's like a fan, um, so basically there's a pump that sucks oil through here and then there's a fan that cools it down. So yeah, you gotta hook that up. Um, also there's a battery charger that we hook up to charge up the battery, make sure that is 100% after each pass. Um, go through the data, check the data, adjust the tuning, put the fuel in, check over the engine, check the fuel lines, go over the, bowl, uh, the uh, wheel nuts, make sure they're all torqued. But yeah, there's a fair bit of stuff in between each run. Okay, hopefully you can hear me okay. It's pretty noisy around here. But first run of the day, 4.53 on the eighth. So pretty solid first run.
Okay, so we made it to the finals and the car that we're going to race in the final ended up pulling out. Unsure exactly what happened, they might have damaged their car or something like that. But because they've pulled out, we've basically won the series, the 275 Outlaw, which is pretty awesome. It's not ideal to win like that, but a win is a win, so we're all pretty stoked on that. So yeah, we're just packing up everything now, ready to head home. Everyone is pretty exhausted after the three days. Okay, what a bloody awesome weekend that was. Really enjoyed myself. It was a bit overwhelming. There was a lot to take in, but I learned a lot over the last three days. So yeah, really appreciate the opportunity. So thanks Steve, Skinner, Simon, and Churchy for the opportunity. It was bloody awesome. But yeah, feel pretty exhausted after the three days. There's a lot that happens behind the scenes, pretty long days, and the car ran pretty flawlessly to be honest so there wasn't really too many repairs but yeah it is still quite long days of a lot of prep and stuff like that but yeah a bonus also to be a part of that win it's not the best way to win but nonetheless a win's a win i think with the consistency of the car the reliability and also steve's awesome driving that was enough to yeah get us that win so yeah if you like that video leave a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section if you've got any questions yeah leave them in the comment section also if you want to help support the channel hit that subscribe button. And if you are new to the channel, I highly recommend checking out the build on this HX1 Tunner. I'll put a card up in this corner here. So it's the very first episode all the way to the latest. So everything I've done on the build, it's all documented on YouTube. So yeah, we'll leave it with that and we'll see you next time on Shanky Garage. Cheers.